Good morning, Miami Art Studio, and welcome back to another episode of Moss News. Today is Wednesday, March 14th. I'm Miguel Arawaina, and Moss News starts now. You're watching Moss News. As the last quarter of the school year starts, many students are hoping to physically return to school. Now on to Victoria Lara with more on the story. As the school years come along, students have been transferring from either MSO or physical school. Let's see how these transfers have affected our students and our teachers. I'm Jeline Lagos reporting for Moss News. As students are now settled in in their final switch, many have come to different realizations of how different it is. From waking up early and being in school to waking up later and being in the comfort of your own home is just one example. At the end of every school year, the 8th graders and seniors will typically have their prom and got venture, but as of this year, they are no longer able to do so because of COVID-19 procedures and precautions we have to take. Mrs. DeMoya says she has tried planning other events for them, but it's definitely not the same feeling. I know I've been home all school year, so I don't know what physical school is like, but based on last year, I prefer staying at home than going to school. Students and teachers have come a long way, with the school year starting off with all students at home, to now students being given the choice to stay home or go back physically to school. This is Benjelina Lagos signing off. Over the past year, boba tea has become an extremely popular drink, which has led many people to open up cafes inspired to this unique beverage. Now on to Andrea Barcena with her review of Tejito. Bubble tea or boba tea has been trending right here in Florida. In Miami, a spot to get a delicious drink of boba tea is Tejito. Hi, I'm Andrea Barcena and let's see what Tejito has in store for you. South Florida is known for its huge diversity of people and Tejito brings that East Asian culture with the classic drink. Bubble tea contains tapioca pearls or bubbles, which is where the name comes from. These pearls are fairly unique to the drink and is how it got its popularity. The pearls can come in different varieties, such as honey boba, brown sugar boba, and popping boba. These also come with flavors like green apple, lychee, mango, and strawberry. Tejito, however, also has a vast assortment of drinks to accompany the tapioca. There's fruit smoothies, macchiatos, fruit green tea, yogurt green tea, and the classic milk tea, coming in all different flavors, so you can choose whatever combination you desire. One of the reviews stated, They are really good with COVID regulations and have quick service. Super nice too. After you order, you wait outside and there's a seating area you can wait at. Then someone calls your name when you can get your order. Recommend this place. So if you're looking to try bubble tea out for yourself or you just want a refreshing drink, Tijito is a great place to go. Tour is one of Miami's many unique bakeries and restaurants. Here is Kiana Gonzalez with her review on their newest location. Bashur Restaurant, Bakery, and Bar has been serving Italian delicacies and fresh French pastries since 2019. With several locations across Miami, let's take a look at their place in downtown Durham. The first thing I noticed when I walked in was the modern, sophisticated interior. It has a sleek and elegant design. Their outdoor booths were eye-appealing. As I was looking through the menu, I was intrigued by the variety of dishes. For my main course, I chose the Asian steak salad made with classic lo mein noodles topped with pickled mangoes, jalapenos, and red lettuce. The ginger vinaigrette really kept a cultural feel and the steak was very tender. Along with the side of ceviche, which I loved, no drink really stood out to me so I just got a glass of water. From classic French macaroons to chocolate chip cookies, Bashur offers a large display of dessert options for everyone. To finish off my meal, I chose a Bashur Rocher. It's a Nutella dessert incorporated with nuts and topped with dark chocolate. It wasn't too heavy and I liked the surprise Ferrero Rochero in the center. Personally, I thought the chocolate on top was too sweet. If you don't get a chance to visit, at certain locations they also offer delivery and takeout. Overall, I truly did enjoy Bashur and would come back again, and you should come too. I'm Kiana Gonzalez, signing off. With less than eight weeks of school left, many students tend to lose their motivation. Combined with the ups and downs of the pandemic, staying focused has been especially hard. It is important that we do our best to try and stay on track and finish the school year strong. 
Make sure to complete all your assignments on time and study for all your upcoming tests. Despite the fact that you may not want to, it will pay off in the long run. If you are struggling with school, remember that it is okay to reach out and ask for help. Study buddies, additional digital resources, reaching out to your friends, and creating your own study groups are all ways that you can help yourself in your classes and stay motivated to do well. Remember, it is never too late to bounce back. You got this. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Moss News. Make sure to follow all of our social media accounts to stay updated on all the latest school news. I'm Miguel Arroaina, signing off.